of the executives, correct? You need to be taken to Kyohuko as the others were. Huh? Ah, uh, hey! Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't want to go! <laughs> you tough shit. No, say something! Bye-bye. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, geeks? If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. My name is Malcolm, if you didn't know. And today I'm going to be checking out Overlord Season 4, Episode number 11. Last episode was really fucking good. Can't wait to get into this one, so I'll keep this intro short and sweet. Uh, the prince of the Riastis kingdom got beheaded. Uh, the soldiers that beheaded him were pretty much like like worshipping uh, Ainz's feet, uh, asking for him not to kill them and like to spare their families and shit. I'm kind of hoping that Ainz like kills the families of like the soldiers. So yeah, yeah, and the sorcerer kingdom, like Ainz, Alberto fucking all that lot uh going to war against the Riastis kingdom yeah like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload and with that said this is my reaction to overlord season 4 episode number 11 it's quite early in the morning as you can see right there it's like half eight this is the earliest i've recorded something <laughs> uh yeah this is english dub uh yeah let's go how's uh, the king how are you feeling about your son since my captor is here to see me, I can only assume what happened. Our kingdom has fallen. Not yet. Unless the war has already happened. We've lost all contact with the royal army. And none of the messengers we've sent to the battlefield have returned. Yeah, because they betrayed you. Well, some of them did. I don't know if all of them did. To think that both of my sons would go before me. I am relieving everyone in the castle of their positions immediately. That's definitely the worst feeling for a parent, if your child goes before you. That includes you. Uh, your majesty. Yes, fuck off. So will Princess Rena uh, stay in the kingdom? Or will she still hold her brother up to his, I promise, even though he's dead? <laughs> I mean, would she even have a, a choice to like become the queen or is it like because that she is like the next heir to the throne like she has to fucking take it no matter what she like wants if we offend the emissary it couldn't mean our death i'm bored how long do we have to wait for these guys to show up i still don't get why you bothered to break someone like me out of prison i lost all my power and connections so it just seems like you're being awfully generous to me wasn't that like the drug dealer like dude I think, or maybe not. Here we go. Get down. Well, I've come to bring all of you to safety. I've been told you have a thousand people that are coming with you. Bring them here and we'll depart immediately. You will stay here until we can transport you to a proper home. You're one of the executives, correct? You need to be taken to Kyohuko as the others were. Huh? Ah, hey! Gate. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't wanna go! <laughs> you tough shit. No! <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> There's nothing we could have done to save the poor man. Don't say it like that. He will survive after all. It's better to think of it as a rite of passage. It will bring us closer in the end. Yes, you're right. We thank you for your mercy, great sorcerer king. Yeah, but the mercy will only go so far. Delay teleportation. No, I need only wait. If the enemy wants to make a move, this will be their last chance. <laughs> I'll proceed as planned. Yes, but be careful not to kill him. Remember, our goal is to collect information. Of course. I will play my part to perfection. You need only do the same. Always. Chain Dragon Lightning, huh? Yeah, like, I don't understand how the fuck that dude is so powerful. That's not going to do anything, I don't think. <laughs> Go, Alpedo! Don't let the enemy escape! Right! Well, at least now we know, like, who uh, that dude is. But, like, still, how, how is he so fucking powerful and shit? Those aren't even magic projectiles. Are you just testing my armor? You'll try hitting me with a spell. Let's see it then. Nope. What a boorish little goon you are, and cowardly <laughs> as well. I'll sever your limbs and grind you with my boot till you offer Lord Ainz a proper apology for your insolence. Just what I'd expect from a genocidal butcher. Oh, and here I was thinking you were some savage incapable of human speech. 
Well, the people of this kingdom might as well be animals, seeing how foolish and weak they are. You're the savages, using any excuse to slaughter people. This is a battle against pure evil. Let Whatever him talk. Maybe the fool will slip up and reveal something. I don't think he will, though. How odd. Surely he's not working alone. Hmm. Okay, who's this now? Life. It's like a... <laughs> a Megazord. From Power Rangers. Skeletons are weak against blunt attacks. But I've taken special care to address that. His HP dropped when he used that technique. I believe you know who I am. I am the Sorcerer King Arzogo. Will you grace me with the old name as well? Riku Aganea. It's a pleasure to meet you, Riku Aganea. I have a proposal for you. Why don't you become my subordinate? I refuse. If you join me, I could easily be persuaded to stop my attack on Riestes. Nope. Let's hope not. Cloak of Light. Hmm. His HP went down again. Right, so every time he uses magic, Greater his HP teleportation. goes down. Not back. Another attack that reduced his HP. Obsidian Sword! What? Jesus Christ, Matrix. Summon Undead, Tenth Tier, Doom Lord. The Doom Lord. Now, show me the full extent of your strength. Seems to be about level 90. A tank that specializes in hand to hand combat. His weapons have HP too. And I noticed something when I knocked him back. The swords were sent flying with him. That would imply that those floating weapons are a part of his body in some way. I must assume that he's controlling them and the armor okay. from another location. Right, so he isn't actually there. Or oh, she. He. Summon undead, tenth tier, elemental skull. Unlike the Doom Lord, this summon specializes in magic, commanding the power of the four elemental spirits. I'm sure you're weak to at least one of those elements. So now it's time to find out which. No, oh, wait! No, I'm still talking! I have no desire to fight you to the death. This all began when Riestes stole provisions, intended as aid for the Holy Kingdom. Surrendering? What if it was your food that was stolen? Would you still think that this thieving kingdom would be worth protecting? Those who possess power must use it responsibly. You cannot act solely in your own self-interest. That's why I will protect this world. Or rather, why I must protect it. Absolute power is the root of evil, a sin I carry as well. But I won't beg for forgiveness. I shall use it to extinguish wickedness, starting with you. No. Nope. Gone out, Beto. An angry woman is a powerful woman. <laughs> Before you depart, I will ask you once more. Will you not serve me? Nope. The gates of the Sorcery Kingdom will always be open to you. Come visit me whenever you please. He ain't come, well, he will come back, but he won't, like, like be on his side. <laughs> be on Ayn's side. I worry that there may be eyes upon us. We should return to Nazarika. A fine idea. Let's depart. I generally thought that was the end then. I was gonna say, Jesus Christ, a fucking quick episode. <laughs> it seems you survived your encounter with that demon. Yeah, but I couldn't even hit her. Used every weapon at my disposal and she shrugged them off one after another. How'd you fare against the Sorcerer King? Poorly. Forgive me. You put your life at risk and I couldn't finish the job. Don't blame yourself for this. I failed to defeat the Sorcerer King. He was much stronger than I had anticipated. The world isolation barrier worked perfectly against the Sorcerer King, but Albedo seemed to break through it quite easily when she came to his aid. The space was isolated from the outside world. The only way she could have made it through was if she used wild magic or possessed a world item. She appears to be subservient to the Sorcerer King, but perhaps she's the player and he's the NPC. It could be a method to protect herself from enemies. Pretending to be second in command would have a few advantages. That would be a fucking plot twist and a half, that would be. I know his power now, and that also means I know its limits. While I can't hope to defeat him in a single blow, I should be able to win, provided he doesn't have any allies. Yeah, but you can summon fucking allies. When he asked for my name, I said it was Riku Aganea. 
Now that I think about it, I hope no one is actually named that, or they're about to have a very bad time. Azuth has been agreeable thus far, but I worry. Perhaps it would be better to kill him and give his armor to a more capable and obedient ally. I could blame his death on the Sorcerer King, but if someone resurrected him, then they would find out the truth. I can't afford to do anything I'll regret. Brigante still well, I know it. <laughs> Outstanding work, Albedo. Pandora's actor. Thank you. Truly, I am... Okay, so, right, that's why then. I observed your battle. I'd like to hear your impression of this, Riku Arganea. All that you could draw out of this man. Reveal it to me. Right, that makes a lot more fucking sense. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense that it wasn't actually Ainz. Like, why the fuck I didn't see that coming is a... Is a different thing entirely. I just didn't even fucking, like, consider it. But yeah, that makes a lot more fucking sense. So, but then again, does... Oh, uh, watch his face, the... <laughs> I was going to say the, the imposter. Uh, but does the dude that can like shapeshift into like people, does he like uh, imitate and copy the like the magic and spells and shit that other people can do? Or is it just like his own like spells and shit? But just him like just doing it. Yeah, who knows? Uh, I'm going to keep this outro short because I'm going to uh, watch the next episode right now. Uh, but yeah, a very good episode. I wonder if uh, Princess Renair will like take over the Riastis Kingdom now like when her like, father passes. Um, or will she still like end up fucking off? Or like I said in, like, during the title sequence... Like, does she even have a choice? Does she have to step up and be, like, the queen? Or will, like, the... Like, the position of, like, king, queen and shit go down to, like, someone else? Just like the, how they do in, like, in real life and shit. Uh, but yeah, that's, like, pretty much it. That's all my thoughts. I'm gonna watch the next episode right now. Uh, so yeah, join me next week for that don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so we ne uh, so you never miss an upload and um, with that said yeah thanks for stopping by and remember the world is always better when geeks unite see you guys next week